Hi there everyone, I'm Lego Lover 117 and welcome to a brand new series that I'm kicking off here today called Collectibles Corner. This is the show where we sit in this corner of my bedroom and we just talk about collectibles. And this episode is very special, not only because it's the pilot episode of this entire series, but we're going to be talking about autographed collectibles. Now in case some of you don't know what an autograph is, I assume all of you know, know what an autograph is, but just in case you don't, an autograph is basically just any kind of signature that you or a famous person gives. If you have ever signed the back of a check, your son's report card, or just if you've ever signed anything, you have given an autograph. I myself have never really delved into autographs all that much. I have a few pieces, obviously that's why I'm making this video, but I have never sought out to collect solely just autographs. If an autographed piece winds up in the collection, cool, but I'll never go out of my way to track down a specific autograph. When I was gathering up the pieces to make this episode, I was really surprised at how many autographed things I actually own. So, I've got these broken up into three separate categories. The third category is the lowest value, just kind of cool stuff that I've acquired. Second is more valuable per se, and third, or I should say first category is the like grail type of stuff. Third category, the lowest one, has the most stuff in it. So I'm gonna stop talking about what an autograph is and just go ahead and show you the autograph stuff that I have. Starting off in our third category, I've got a lot of signed art prints that I have acquired through a subscription box known as the BAM box. Think of a more higher quality, more expensive loot crate with stuff that you would actually want. That's what Van Box is. I currently have five of these art prints up on my walls throughout my room. I've got this one that is a Batman themed one titled Darkness. And then the one that's directly under that is the Flash art print nicknamed Scarlet Speedster. Over on the other wall above my bookshelf, I have a Dark Phoenix print, which is kind of cool because that one's limited to 500 pieces. And then next to that uh, of my Thanos statue is my Thanos art print, which came from the very first band box I ever received. And then just kind of thrown up on the wall near them is my Kylo Ren versus Dark Ray art print, which is also limited to 500 pieces. I do have another art print that I received through band box. It's Bill Murray from Scrooged. I don't have this one hanging up on my wall though. Never seen Scrooged, never really had a reason to hang this one up. The other ones, I'll have some kind of connection to. And for transparency's sake, all of these prints come with a certificate of authenticity that uh, certificates that it's authentic. And they're all signed by their prospective artists. Finally, in the lower tiered category of autographs is something that really only pertains to me. This isn't like a nerdy collectible, this is a sports collectible, which I know a lot of my fans out there are like, you watch sports? Way back in 2013, the UofL Cardinals won the national championship in basketball. Although the NCAA revoked that title, we still won. And one of the players on that team was named Peyton Siva, and he was one of my personal favorites. He was one of our best players, if I do say so myself. After they won the championship, Siva was going around to different schools and doing signings. And he signed this poster right here that features him. As you can see on the poster, it's got Peyton Siva, number three at the top. Three pictures of him playing, and uh, he signed it to Garrett, which is really awesome. So as I said, something just a little bit more personal to me, not something that a lot of you guys would know about unless you're a U of L sports fan. And since I assume a lot of you don't live in Kentucky like I do, you probably aren't. That pretty much does it for the third tier category. Let's move on to the second tier. Stuff that's a little bit more valuable. I guess I should have said the third tier was just art prints because that's really all that I had in the third category. To begin, I've got this little dinosaur figure here, and there's the 
autograph right there. And it did come with a certificate of authenticity, as you can see it did come from the BAM box. This little figure here was signed by Aaron LaPlante, who voices Spear in Gennady Tartakovsky's Primal. I assume that is a animated series. I'm not too sure about that. I'm actually not too sure what Primal is, but I know that Tartakovsky has done some very popular animated shows like the Clone Wars micro series from 2003 and Samurai Jack, so Tartakovsky's name is not a stranger to my eyes. Uh, Primal though, I'm not sure what that is, but uh, this is honestly kind of cool. It's just a little, you know, foam figure here. You know, I'm probably, n I'm probably not going to do much with it, but it's it's cool that he signed it, I guess, and this is this is one of the oddballs in my autographs collection. Continuing the theme of toys in this second tier category, I've got a child's Batman mask. There's the signature up there. It was signed by Roger Craig Smith. There's your certificate of authenticity. This licensed Batman mask has been hand signed by Roger Craig Smith, who has voiced Batman in numerous video games and television shows was signed during a private signing for the BAM Pop Culture Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. So, that's really awesome. Uh, not Kevin Conroy's signature, so not Batman from THE Batman a animated series, but it is a Batman voice actor and it does have a, and I do have a Batman mask now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what Mr. Smith played Batman in. I'll throw it up on the screen here whenever I do my editing for this video. So that's what he played Batman in. And just in case any of you were wondering, yes, the mask does fit my head. Now I look straight up like multi-green thunder. This next piece is a signed Blu-ray, which is my only signed Blu-ray that I have for anything. This is Legend of Korra season number one. I have the complete series of Legend of Korra. I picked up a lot of it on eBay on Blu-ray uh, because I love Avatar and you know, the first season of this isn't too bad, uh, but this particular copy is signed by the voice actor who portrayed Amon in the series. Amon was the series' main villain, or the first season's main villain, I should say, uh, and it's signed by him. I don't know what the actor's name is. That's the actor's name right there. <laughs> but that's, that's honestly awesome, and the seller that sold this to me on eBay, he didn't upcharge because the one of the Blu-rays was signed. He just said, here you go, have it for a decent price, and uh, I got all four seasons, and uh, I have a signed copy of Legend of Korra Season 1, which is really awesome. I really like that. These last three items are all from the same brand and line of collectibles. I'm guessing you guys can guess what it is. They're signed Funko Pops, and these came from the band box, of course, and I have three of them to show you here. So, to begin, this is Bugs Bunny in his opera attire, and you can see the signature on the front there. Uh, this is signed by Eric Baza, who has voiced numerous animated characters. I'm reading that off the top because that is the certificate of authenticity there. So, Eric has a really nice and large autograph there that's very prominent. You can tell that. He signed this, yeah. So I'm not sure if Baza has ever played Bugs Bunny himself. I do know, however, that Baza played Leonardo, uh, the Ninja Turtle, in one of the animated Ninja Turtle specials. It might have been Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which I own, by the way, if you were wondering, on 4K. Yes, the highest quality possible. Watched it once. Moving right along, this is the second Funko Pop I ever received autographed, and honestly, this one might be my favorite because it's from a movie I actually really enjoy. Shazam! Or should I say Darla from Shazam? This isn't Shazam signed by Zachary Levi. It's Darla! Arguably the funniest character in the film. I really enjoy Darla in Shazam and the, the film itself, so... There's Darla there. I really like how she signed it too. She put Shazam there in a little heart and her signature and all that. This, this was, th th this is a really good autograph. This pop has been hand signed by Faith Herman who plays Darla in Shazam. There's your certificate there. You can see it's the young actress who plays this character. Um, it's not the old one that the pop portrays. Would have made more sense if it was the older actress, but I liked the younger actress more than the old one, so I'm glad that Faith Herman got the chance to sign this, and it's very cool. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> I'm saying that like I know her. 
And this is the last Funko Pop I have that's signed. Honestly, it has the weakest autograph out of any of these. This is Fireman Dumbo from the animated Dumbo line. There's your autograph on the front, certificate of authenticity on the top. It has been signed by voice actress Katie Lay, who is the only person to have actually voiced Dumbo. If I'm not mistaken, the last time I did research on this voice actress, I think she played Dumbo in some kind of animated series. I, editor me will correct me on the screen if I'm wrong about that. But uh, Katie Lay, you really got to work on your uh, autograph game there. That's that's kind of small. I'm glad to have it, obviously. It's a, kind of a rarer piece. Uh, any autograph is rare, per se, but maybe not rare. Hard to come by. And lastly, rounding out our second tier of collectibles that are autographed by various celebrities, uh, I've got this signed photo from the Never Ending Story. I've never seen the Never Ending Story. Um, so I have no idea what this scene is from, but your autograph is there on the front, if you can see that there. And your certificate of authenticity is rolling around on the back here. It is signed by Noah Hathaway, who played Atriyu in The NeverEnding Story. I, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, but like I said, I've never seen The NeverEnding Story, and I would have included this in the art prints section of this collection but it's not an art print, it's an actual photo from the film, and honestly, it's signed by one of the actors in the film, so I figured it deserved to be in tier two of my autographed collectibles. All right, everybody, now it's time for the first tier collectibles, the grail pieces in my collection. I only have two to show you. The first one is a personal grail for myself, one that um, means a lot to me in sentimental value, the second one is the grail that you guys will be more interested in, but I'm just go ahead and show you the first grail here. This is a photo art print. I'm not really sure what you would call this. A painting, I guess, is what I would call this. Uh, that was painted by my uncle. My uncle, unfortunately, passed away in 2014. Uh, he had a form of bladder cancer, and unfortunately, that took him away from us. But before he died, he was really into art. The dude was a fantastic artist. Each grandkid on my mother's side got a painting from him that had to do with something we really liked in our childhoods. Like, for example, my brother has one that's about Star Wars that's hanging up in his room right now. My cousins, I think they were into the Wiggles and Blues Clues, so they all have art prints of that. And me, of course, I was into Thomas the Tank Engine. There's not just Thomas on there, as you saw. Bob the Builder, Rolly, and Dizzy are also in that image. Uh, so I wasn't just a Thomas geek, I was a Bob the Builder geek as well. And there's little uh, Easter eggs hidden throughout this photo. You've got my name on the flag. My name is actually on Bob's toolbox as well. I just noticed Pilchard's in this picture too. I forgot Pilchard was painted in here as well. Uh, and I believe the story behind this painting is that Bob is going to fix the tracks. Because if you notice, there are no rails when Thomas comes out of the tunnel here. So I think Bob and all of them are here to fix the tracks. So I kind of wish my uncle was still here so I could ask him what's up with that image. I'm pretty sure that's what he was going for. And I say this is an autographed piece because it is my uncle autographed every single painting he ever did with his symbol the bunny right there at the bottom he also put his initials next to the bunny and the date that he painted this 2003 i really need to find somewhere in this room to hang this up again i i had it hung up for a while but i took it down for other posters to go on the wall but i need to find somewhere else to put this i this painting it really means a lot to me. All right, moving on from the personal grail, now let's move on to the the big one, okay? Let me go ahead and preface this with this story that I'm gonna tell you about how I came across this piece. And honestly, this piece kind of inspired this video and this entire series that I'm planning on doing. So thank this piece for coming into the collection or else we wouldn't be having the series right now. I was browsing Facebook one night because I got bored. I guess I checked all my other social medias. No one was posting anything. So I resorted to looking at Facebook. I know I have no life. And on Facebook, you get ads for other apps that you can purchase 
stuff on. And I got an ad for an app called Poshmark, which is a clothes selling app. So imagine my shock when I saw this piece in the ad saying that someone was trying to sell it for $25. I said, there ain't no way that that hasn't already been sold or that it's real. So I clicked on the ad, downloaded the app, made a stupid account on it. I think I used like a, a joke name and a joke profile picture because I only wanted this piece off the app. I looked at the piece a little bit closer and the seller mentioned that it has never been professionally authenticated, meaning that no autograph guru has looked at it and said, oh yeah, that's real. But the seller also mentioned that all of the people that she has talked to and all the people on the internet that she has reached out to have confirmed that it's legit. And honestly, I became an expert on this person's autograph. Uh, in about two days because I looked at probably 50 to 100 photos of this autograph just trying to figure out if it was real and all of the photos I looked at look extremely similar to this autograph so you know I I'm not beating around the bush anymore. Princess Leia as Jabba's prisoner signed by Carrie Fisher. As I said, every single photo that I looked at of Carrie Fisher's autograph here, if this is a fake, it's a damn good fake. Carrie Fisher was always really consistent in the way that she autographed things. There, there wasn't a lot of deviation with her autograph. And this one, it looks legit, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think it is real. As I said, every photo that I looked at and every autograph that I studied looks eerily similar to this autograph here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I believe it's real. Some of the distinct features I see when I'm looking at this piece is that really large C at the top and how it's really fluid. There's not really a broken line in the signature. It's all very consistent with how she signs, I mean, it just, it looks real. And this definitely isn't photo printed onto the card or anything like that. You can see there's a point that I can see here on the, um, on the R after Fisher where it's kind of smudged, the paint pen has smudged a bit and there's a couple spaces throughout it where it's kind of smudged a bit. And that's why I bought this protector for it because I don't want any more smudging on this autograph here. I want this to stay in pristine shape. The box itself is not in pristine shape. The The card back is a little bit, you can tell it's been used, uh, the, the card back has, but the, the figure itself is not coming off the card or anything. Bubble is still uh, fastened securely to the card back and uh, this, this piece, man, I'm just ecstatic I got it for as cheap as I did because Carrie Fisher's autograph is not going for cheap nowadays and I know I took a risk, but I'm just gonna say it's real. If any of you guys know if it's fake or not, uh, you can scream at me down in the comments if you think it's fake. Uh, I think it's real. And honestly, this is one of the best pieces I own in my collection. Not even just autographs, just any piece in my entire collection I've got in my room here. This is one of my favorites. So gang, that pretty much wraps up this first ever installment of Collectibles Corner. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I know it's a different type of video for me to make. But if you guys want to see more, tell me down in the comments, hey, I want to see more and I'll make more because I got, I got a lot of plans for this series in my head. I've already got maybe five or six um, episodes in my head just waiting to be filmed. So if you guys want to see more, tell me and I'll make more. If you don't want to see more, tell me you don't want to see more and maybe I'll make a few more episodes and then quit. That's just, that's just how I roll, man. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Good night, everybody.